Good evening, everyone. I'm Howard Caldwell. And I'm Clyde Lee, and welcome back to New Orleans via New Star 6, where Indiana has won the national championship. I knew there was something up. Ed Sorensen, would you come over here? You guys are going to have to move Let's... over a little bit. They did it, but it wasn't easy. Thanks, Howard. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. I, I don't... Thanks for the spirit. That's great. We've got some highlights to do here. Let's go to the videotape, one of the great college basketball games you folks will ever want to see. Tonight, in front of 64,959 fans in the Superdome, Greg Monroe scores on the breakaway right there for Syracuse. And then Sherman Douglas will score. He had 20 points and played a fine game tonight for the Orangemen. But Steve Alford, another sensational game. He scores the three-pointer right here. He had 23 on the night, a game high, including 7 out of 10 from beyond the three-point stripe. Douglas again, scoring from up top, and it was a battle of three-pointers in this flurry of highlights right here. And then Alford comes back, gets the dish from Key Smart, and knocks the bottom out of it. And now Ronnie Cycli, the big Greek from Athens, takes over with a couple of slams. He goes up on the alley-oop there. Cycli had 18. I don't even think the pass was intended for him here, but he slams it in anyway. Daryl Thomas, who had 20 points on the night, gets inside and scores off glass. And then Monroe with another three-pointer. At this point, the Orangemen had a surprising five-point lead, 29-24. Did somebody say Keith Smart's down here? If he is, bring him around. Cycli makes it 33-28 for the Orangemen. And then Alford unleashes another three-pointer, 33-31. And right before the halftime buzzer, Steve will do it again. IU. IU will leave the floor. IU leaves the floor 34-33 on top at halftime. But Bob Knight said in the postgame press conference that that slim lead and the way his ball club had played may have excited the IU fans, but he wasn't necessarily pleased with it. Second half, the Orangemen come out, and they really started to play some solid basketball. Derek Brower scores inside, 50-44 Syracuse. Howard Trish, the senior captain, gives the Orange an eight-point lead at 52-44. But IU has come back so many times this year, especially in the tournament, offered from three-point land again to bring IU within two at 52-50. Sherman Douglas sits later on. He played a sensational game for the Orange. He had a team I-20. That brought the Syracuse team back on top by five, 61-56. But then Key Smart exploded. He had 17. He had 17 in the second half, 21 for the game, 61-61. Now watch him right here. Alford gets the ball. This is the only two-point field goal he made on the night. That tied at 65 all. And then Smart really took over. Using that 42-inch vertical explosion, he puts the Hoosiers up 67-66, but back comes Douglas, neither team backing down in this game. A tremendous college game. Douglas scores on the layup, 68-67 Orange. Cycli later makes it 70-68 Syracuse with the power move inside, but then Smart puts Jim Beheim back in his chair with this tremendous move, reverse 70-70. And he did. And then Trish makes it 72-70 with a nice move inside, and then Smart brings IU back within one. No thoughts of kicking the ball off the helm, and he's going all the way with it. 30 seconds remain, IU down by one. And then the freshman, Derek Coleman, a huge miss at the free throw line. And here's where it goes, folks, and you can just pick it up from right here because you see the clock winding down. IU trails 73-72, and they want to set something up, obviously, for Steve Alford. But Syracuse was planning on stopping Steve Alford, so they kick it over to Key Smart, and Knight said they wanted to get into their offense with about 15 seconds left. Darrell Thomas, a good kick out. Back outside, 16-footer. It's good! Syracuse has one more chance, but not much of a chance with one second left. Smart being embraced by his teammates on the bench. Coach Knight, obviously, his head still very much in the game. And a lot of these folks who are here with us now, you saw them there in the stands cheering. Here is the last couple of seconds from the game. And look, Keith Smart's the guy who picks off the inbounds pass. He did it all tonight. 
After the game, after this terrific celebration on the court at the Superdome, I had a chance to talk with Keith Smart, with Daryl Thomas, with Steve Alford, and all of these guys were about as happy as an athlete can be. Let's go to that interview. Uh, on the other side of the bench, obviously, the Syracuse Orangemen, you got to give them a tremendous amount of credit. These guys were crushed. But this is the number one college team in America, the Hoosiers. Yeah. Like you really wanted the ball during the final stages of the second half. Almost every time down, you were taking it to the hoop with a lot of confidence. Yeah, most definitely, because Ricky was out, and he was uh, kind of leaving me a great deal open. So I had to kind of like uh, take things in my own hands and go to the bucket, and I was able to do that. Can you believe what has happened to you in the last year? Hey, I can, this is a fairy tale, I guess. Maybe I'll wake up from it next year sometime and then believe it. But right now, I don't. I didn't, hey, I didn't look. I just closed, closed my eyes and prayed. And I was like, Keith, hit it, please. I opened my eyes, and I just saw it going through the net. I knew, and we was up by one. And I was hoping the tower would have ran down, but it didn't. So we had to set up for another play. There's no other way, I guess, for your career to end than what's in the national championship. There's no better way for my career to end. There's been, a, like I said, a lot of hard work, and, and I just give uh, all that credit to the Lord and, and uh, my faith, and there's been a lot of trying times, a lot of pressures, uh, but an awful lot of joys in my four years at Indiana, and I, I don't regret one thing. And, and if I had four more to do over again, I'd sure come back. It's been an unbelievable experience. Were you going to get the shot? Were, were, were you supposed to take the shot? Well, we were going to look for me, but obviously we knew it wasn't going to be like at halftime where they let me loose. And uh, we've just been, we've done a good job all year of playing off me. And this was another case where we did a good job of finding Keith and playing off of me. It seems, seems like every team you guys beat down the stretch had one thing in common, the inability to knock down the clutch free throw. And that's really one thing that seemed to separate you guys from the rest of the pack in the tournament. We've been a good free throw shooting all, long, all year long. And, and I've, I do a lot of summer camps, and that's one thing I tell youngsters, that uh, more times than not, in, in games that are won and lost uh, between the good teams, it's going to come down to foul shooting, simply because the teams are too good and there's not going to be a big differentiation in the field goals. And I'm sure there wasn't tonight. Uh, free throws, in fact, they might have hit more free throws than we did tonight. But making free throws down the stretch especially, that's what it's all about, and that's what the game comes down to when you win or lose. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And what a fitting end to a magnificent career for Steve Alford, Olympic gold, Big Ten co-champs, and NCAA champions as he heads off to the pros. Right now, we want to talk to a couple of the fans. What, what was your impression of the game tonight? Did you ever at any time lose never hope? Never doubted it. Never. Ever. Never. never. What, what about when uh, they came down there in the final 26 seconds? What was going through your mind? I knew we had it all along. The Hoosiers are number one. <laughs> oh, oh, right. Oh, right. Oh, oh, number what, one. what about you? Did you think that Steve Alford was going to be the hero? No, I knew it was going to be Keith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keith. This guy right here, Bob Jordan, has loaned me this great cap for a couple of live shots this week. And this guy, this guy is, a, is a big expert. What was your opinion of the game? And did you think Syracuse, I mean, you've got to give those guys a lot of credit. They play, I, I thought they would get blown out. I mean, Ed, absolutely the best college basketball game I've seen in 15 years. Yeah. No question about it. Can we hear a couple of bars from you guys? We got two members of the band out here. Come on, let's go. Okay, while they do that, let's kick it over here. All right.